Welcome to a Honda CRF 250 review. So what is the Honda CRF? It's a dual sport type bike with a 249cc single cylinder fuel injected and liquid cooled engine that delivers about 23 horsepower. It's got Showa front forks and a ProLink rear shock. It's got a really nice digital display and it's got a really nice lightened swing arm as well. The CRF's tank has a 7.7 .7 litre capacity which will realistically get you about 100 miles. It's got a 21 inch wheel in the front and it's got an 18 inch wheel in the rear. It weighs in at about 144 kilograms, which isn't the lightest in its category, but it's still fairly light. The seat height of the bike is 34.7 inches and it's also got a clearance of 10 inches. So what about the cost regarding the bike? You'd be about three to three and a half thousand pounds to buy one of these bikes second hand, which is it's obviously a lot of money, but relatively for a bike that's a Honda, relatively new, it's not that bad at all. Um, it doesn't come with ABS or a rev counter or a gear counter, but I would say that's reflected in the price. To tax the bike, you'd be forty-two pounds a year. Insurance came in for me, and I'm a I'm a young rider. Uh, I've only got one year's no claims bonus, still came in at about £190, which is a lot of money, but again, relatively, it's not a lot of money. I put brand new tyres on the bike not too long ago, Mitchell and Cirax, and I would definitely recommend it. The tyres that come with the bike aren't bad at all, um, they're, they're, actually, they're really good tyres, but they are orientated not more towards the off-road side, but they have a, a really good off-road capability. The Mitchell and Cirax still have off-road capability if that's something you'd like to do, but the majority of my riding that I do is on the road, so they're, they're much more road orientated. Um, and I, I think they're great, they're well worth it. They cost me £194.80, which uh, is a big setback, but that's absolutely fine. It's, you know, safer road riding. and. Uh, that's the point of it. So what are my overall thoughts on the bike? This is my first bike since a 125 and being a rider in Scotland um, I've needed to do my 125 and work my way up um, so because I'm just now I'm restricted to 49 brake horsepower and I'm so glad that this is the bike that I went for. Uh, when I was first deciding to on my next bike after my 125 I was kind of swithering on a couple of ideas but I'm really really glad that this is the bike I went for. <laughs> It looks amazing, it's a Honda, so it's you know it's never gonna break. Um, and I just absolutely love it. It's great fun to ride. I would fully, fully recommend getting one. So that's been my review on my Honda CRF 250L. Thanks very much for watching. Any other questions, put them down below. Cheers.